I'm Sarah from Backyard Builds, and I'm going to show you how to make some super cool wall art using a paddle. You can use any size paddle you want. You can use used paddles that you find at flea markets or just some old ones you have hanging around. I found these paddles at a big box store for about $20 each. Step one, clean and sand paddle. Because these are brand new, they have a heavy lacquer on them, so I have to sand that off so that my paint will adhere. I'm gonna use a palm sander because it really speeds things up, but you could use simple sandpaper and that will work just fine, just a little more elbow grease. Now that I've finished sanding off all the varnish, I'm gonna give it a light wipe down to get rid of all the dust before we start taping out our pattern. Step two, sketch a design. You could freestyle a design on something like this, but because I'm doing three, I want to sort of conceive an idea together, so I'm gonna sketch out some patterns. So there are some really great examples of these kind of patterns and painted paddles online, and I really recommend going and checking them out because there's some really cool things out there. Step three, tape it out. You can use a pencil or ruler to help get your lines exact, or you can just wing it if you're a wild child. These paddles really look the best when the graphic is really sharp and precise, so you're gonna wanna make sure that there's no paint bleed under the tape. Just use your nail to burnish the edge and that will really seal the straight line. Step four, paint it. You can use simple crafters acrylic paint. I've pre-selected all my colors, thinking of the three paddles together on the wall. I don't want them to look too matchy-matchy, so I'm using different colors for each paddle. When it comes to color, have a lot of fun with this. Use some bold colors, but also unexpected paints work beautifully on this project. For instance, metallics, even neon. It looks really, really cool. I find that this acrylic paint usually needs two coats, but maybe even three. And make sure you let it dry for a couple hours before moving on to the next step. Step five, peel off the tape. And now's the time to do any touch-ups if there has been any paint bleed. Ooh, yeah, I'm good at this. Yeah! Look at that, it looks great! Step six, apply clear coat. I've got it in a spray can. If you're doing this, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. You can also do this with a brush on clear coat, but this goes a lot quicker. Because I used a water-based paint, I'm using a water-based clear coat. But if you were to use them as a paddle, you have to use an actual waterproof varnish, and that's a whole different ball game. But these are gonna be so pretty, you're not gonna use them as paddles. And I'm done. In one hour, it will be all dry, and I'll hang it on the wall with the others. It looks fantastic. For more awesome DIY projects, check out Backyard Builds on HGTV.